Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on your eyes. Somebody's you know, getting messed up. There's been a lot of bad guys in, in, in cinema history. You know, if you want to name a few of them, like, it's just real bad, sleazy guys. I, I like, I, I, um, Ike Turner? Yeah. <laughs> who? Who? Jafar. <laughs> yeah. I ain't like who Jamie Foxx played in Dreamgirls, neither. You didn't like that like guy? Him. No. There's a new villain. <laughs> in town. In town. In Hollywood right now. And you, it's the least likely person you think would be that villain the 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 least likely person you think women are gonna love to hate wow because they love to love them prior to this role yeah. lance gross that was lance gross right there in the movie when love kills we have the entire cast here with us and making her directorial debut our sister of the show yes ladies and gentlemen give it up for one of the world's greatest actresses motivational speakers uh just love one family member the one and only tasha smith oh, yeah. Yeah. i yeah. love you sway i love, I love you here. i feel like i'm at home every time i come here i just love you guys no, thank you no you you are at home you know uh, in this directorial debut you put your foot in this shit like you I just watched a movie when Love Kills. It's premiering Monday, right? Uh, uh, the, actually, the twenty eighth. The twenty eighth. The twenty eighth. The following Monday. And um, on TV One. It's a crazy story. I want to introduce the other people who are here. Uh, Natia Kirkland, uh, who played Felicia. Yes. Blakely. Felicia Blakely. Um, Natia, we know her. We met her as little mama. Mm. But now something else is going on. <laughs> She's killing them. She's killing them. Something Amen. else is going on. I mean, I'm just, I'm killing them. Right. She did good in the, uh, the uh, TLC, the TLC movie, yeah. movie. You killed that. But this right here? Mm. You really stepped out of your comfort zone, I would imagine, to play this role. I want to talk about that in a second. Okay. But the silent sleeper in it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, you would never know if you just look at her Instagram. <laughs> 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 you knew she was crazy, but you didn't know. Hashtag <laughs> 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 Come on now. Hey. This is our family right here. Yes. She's come a long way since reality TV, ladies and come gentlemen. Give it up it. for the one and only Tammy Rowland. Yeah. Talk about it. Talk about yeah. it. Crazy ass Tammy. Talk about it. Talk about it. Uh, let's talk about Lance. Great job. By the way, when you Thank see you. these people portraying these roles, I didn't know y'all. Mm. That's when I knew it was great. Yeah. yeah. You know. And the story, Tasha, let's talk about, it's based on a true story. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Talk about Felicia. Thank you. You know, Sway, th thank you so much for watching the movie uh -huh. and thank you for your encouragement because coming from you, it's like the Lord has spoken, yeah, okay? Shit, I mean, no, really, <laughs> like, it's like, you know, God uses you and, and people listen to you. So thank you for yeah. your you know, just support and uh -huh. you really liking it. Like yeah. that means a lot to me, you uh -huh. know, coming from you. Uh, this story is about a woman from Atlanta named Felicia Blakely, who, you know, was caught up in the strip club, like no judgment zone. Y'all know I used to be a stripper, you yeah. know, yeah. but everybody can get in the strip club and get out of the strip club. <laughs> you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's like you get in the strip club and there are so many influences in the strip club that could lead to so many things like mm -hmm. prostitution, addiction, and all that stuff. And by the grace of God, I ended up here sitting with you guys as a director. Mm -hmm. But Felicia Blakely ended up in jail for the rest of her life because she couldn't handle it. She was looking for love. She was making bad decisions. And she got caught up with this predator mm -hmm. who completely manipulate her at 19 mm -hmm. years old. Well, it mm -hmm. started at 16. Mm -hmm. So by the age of 19, she had already committed three murders and 
is now in jail for the rest of her life. And I feel like when women look at this story, when men look at this story, they're going to see that we have to love our kids more than the streets will. Yeah. Because mm. if you don't love your daughters, guess what? Some Negro in the streets might love her, manipulate her, and have her out hitting these licks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stripping, prostituting, and doing all kinds of stuff that could be very detrimental to her life. You know, that, that's interesting, too, because you, you talk about the, the male and the, the dynamic of the father or the male presence and, and or the lack of it in her life. Mm -hmm. And then you play her mama, yes, Tammy. Yes, I play Stacy. You play Stacy, and it, it's generational. It's a cyclical, right? Well, here's right. the thing. That's what's, uh, you know, Stacy's character was complex, you know, for me to play in the sense that when I read the script, I was cognizant that this was like a generational curse type mm -hmm. of thing, you know, and she was looking for something herself that she wasn't capable of giving her daughter. And so that dynamic that I had to create between me and uh, little mama, you know, we just tried to give it uh, Natia. Natia. I'm getting used to it. Help me, father. <laughs> um, <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. Get her on Instagram. Get her, here it comes. Get her the shower cap. Shower uh, it cap. will be one tomorrow. It will be one tomorrow. <laughs> How people be changing and they names all up in the middle of shit. <laughs> right. Oh, right. <laughs> but you know, I wanted to I wanted to humanize Stacy. I wanted to play her authentically and genuinely. She's a complete departure from me and my relationship with my daughters, but familiar in a way that my mom worked three jobs. So she wasn't home either. I could have been a Felicia Blakely, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I here again, like Tasha, I ended up here, you know, and I just wanted to do the part justice. I learned from Tasha, uh -huh. you know what I mean? She was my coach, and I just wanted to show up every day on set and let her know I was serious about being there and thankful. Wow. And she was. Oh, she's you, amazing. You're a great director. actress. Yes. Isn't she a great yeah, actress? She's, 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 she's stunning. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to get to Lance because we got a bet going of where did you study this character what is your character? big Dino? Uh -huh. What what did you what did you take your cues from? We 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 got it. We bet it on this oh, earlier. No. Heather okay. says she Heather okay. says she oh. thinks you she knows where you did your research. Okay, so I mean I'm from East Oakland, California, so that was the base for me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a nice guy, but it's in me. I'm from East Oakland, California. It's just yeah, it's 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 in us. You know what I mean? And and not only that, I mean my parents got me out of Oakland and they moved to Vegas. Oh, damn. So wow. that's a bigger. Thing. So yeah, I was pulling from all that, and I, I have people that were that's connected. I talked to a lot of peas. I talked to peas in in Oakland, in in Vegas, in Houston. You know what P stand for, Heather? Does it, does it, it, yeah, yeah. Does, does it stand for punctuation or principles? <laughs> but you know what? Like when I, when I read the script, when Tasha actually called me, I was like, oh, like I, I've been dreaming of this type of role. You know what I mean? Because casting directors, they don't they look over me for this because I'm the nice guy. I'm always playing the 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 good guy. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So this was my opportunity to play the bad guy, and I knew that if I if I took on this role, mm -hmm. I had to kill it. Like, it couldn't be just all right. Like, I had to fully dive in. So this was all method for me. Like, I, I talked to the family. I, I talked to God. Let them know I was going to tap out. You know, and I only had nine days to do it. So I really had to immerse myself in Dino. Mm -hmm. Yo, you were so convincing. Like, yes. I, I, you know, I have uh, people, hey. people in my immediate circle who, who do the role you play. Yeah. For occupation, yeah. and I thought I was looking at people I grew up with. That's like what's that. up. And so we, I owe oh, you, Heather. Um, there were parts in it though um, that had to be real physical. Like uh, uh, I don't want to tell the whole movie, but yeah, Natia's character gets head butted. Yeah, there's one point where you thump her in the nose. Yeah, yeah. and that was a real thump. Yeah, and, and and actually, she didn't know that was coming. <laughs> oh, really? It wasn't That's in the script. Not Nah, that's it's like the piss me off. That that was in the moment, but uh, you know what? That was the hard part though, because you know you're not supposed to judge the character. And when I read it, I was like, oh, he's he's he, man. I don't even can I curse? <laughs> he, he a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Cold, Cold blooded. Work, what what did what did Clifton Powell? He said Clif that he was a straight diabolical. Diabolical. He said I played yeah. ruthless, but you diabolical. So I had to throw all that out. To not judge Dino, you know, mm -hmm. for me, it was just, how can I put it? Like, I had to get her to love me. Mm -hmm. If I could get her to love me, I could get her to do whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, I mean, 
He yeah. Dino was on some gorilla pimp type. Yeah, he was, and I was gonna say can, gorilla pimp. And can I yeah. tell you yeah. something? There was another actor whose name I won't say that was supposed to do the part. Mm -hmm. And so once I got the script, I did some rewriting on the script and came up with stuff to make the character more aggressive because I felt like it wasn't honest enough. Like mm -hmm. the first read, they didn't really go in to show the real stuff, right? Mm -hmm. right. And so when the actor got the script, he was like, "Ah, ah, this is too much. I, I don't like." how many times you got him hitting her and I don't like the head button I don't like this and I don't like that and I said dude I feel like you need to talk to God mm -hmm. because this might mm -hmm. not be your part mm -hmm. like really yeah, like you might yeah. want to not do this part because yeah. I'm not pulling back I've been in domestic violent relationships as a teen and I have real understanding of what this is like I'm not pulling back mm -hmm. and I called Lance while this guy was trying to figure it out I said, Lance, I'm sending you this script. And, you know, this is my brother. I said, mm -hmm. I need you to read it. I need an answer ASAP. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. Lance read that script and he's so courageous because he read it. He may have had his nervous feeling, but he was courageous enough as an actor and artist to choose to do it and mm -hmm. be as honest and authentic as possible. He oh, yeah. was wonderful. Yeah. Plus, he got a pimp in him. Hey. Hey. I kind of think that you know nigga got, got a little pimping. I know what he's talking about. 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 I know Mm -hmm. And I mean, they they sell water to wells. You yeah. know what I mean. So, I don't know. I I just really want women to see this. E e if they're going through a domestic violence situation mm -hmm. or or uh, stepping into one, you know, mm -hmm. I just want them to see what can happen to them. How how it can deteriorate deteriorate their soul. You yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. And like Felicia Blakely, she ain't never getting out of jail. Yes. Dino somewhere chilling. He never got charged. He never got charged. We talking no. three murders. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Natia, yes, let me yes. ask you this because uh, the the and, and I, I got gr great joy watching all of y'all. You know, watching T Tammy was so convincing. I was like, shit, this look like this is a scene out of her real life. <laughs> you, you're, you're so funny too, man. You're funny even when you're not trying to be. But it was the 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 um, the, the dynamic between all of you guys. The synergy was so perfect. You know, even with Natia and Lance, with you and Natia. Mm -hmm. And when I watch you, I think about, man, I've known this young lady since I used to go to her family's compound over mm -hmm. in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. you know, and sit and talk with her and her family when she was a rising rapper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't made it yet. Right. But, but on your way to making it. Right. And I've seen you go through your trials and tribulations in, in the public eye. And, you know, we all go through shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I see you keep getting jobs. In the process, mm -hmm. you get public backlash and VMA shit. Yeah. Fall back, you back on MTV, America's Next Best Dancing. Mm -hmm. You know, shit happens in interviews. Come back, you jump into a movie. Mm -hmm. There's something special about you. Thank There's you, something Sway. strong inside of you. Thank you, Sway. You know, and so when I watch you be so correct, you showing your body. Mm. You yes. being sexy. Uh, mm -hmm. That was weird for me to watch initially, but then, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, was, you know. This is like Uncle Sway. Exactly. So I wanted to say, if that girl don't put some fucking clothes on, it's all that ass moving and shit, <laughs> straddling Lance, and Lance right. is just letting it happen. Right. Hey. Like, what they got little mama doing, you know? But um, that's so funny. It, oh God! But you, 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 you were all out there. Mm hmm. What was that from playing this role? What did you walk away with in your real life? Oh, wow. I mean, I'm learning so much as an actor. Uh -huh. um, I'm learning how to take risks in my life on, on a day to day basis with everything, my personal life and business as well. And in acting, I think before I, w I came from this place in hip hop where I was with the next generation, but I still was operating as if I was with the first class, you uh -huh. know. So I wore baggy jeans. I was a tomboy and I was very serious about lyrics. I think lyrics still to this day, I think lyrics are very important when when making a rap album or a single or anything like that. And <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like 
a part of me at the same time that was uh, genuine to um, what I learned about hip hop and, and what I learned in my life from my mom, my morals and things like that. It caused me to be judgmental mm-hmm. of other people. But I also learned um, through growth that there's ways to tell stories. There's, way to, there's ways to help uplift other people by being authentic and telling a story and becoming someone and not being judgmental of that person so that. I can speak to that audience Mm -hmm. and help prevent young people from ending up in situations like these and to also let women who are already involved in it to know that they have a they have a choice. You know, did did you have to learn to dance like the strip, the stripper moves Did you have to learn that or was that did that come natural for you? Um, <laughs> Damn on this way. Well, I got a little, I got a little. Uh, I'm uncle to little mama. Right. Uncle, Natia, Natia we are just colleagues. But this is, this is different now. How old you said you was again? <laughs> you should have saw her on last. Oh, uh, oh. I think that. Um, no, I mean. Ever since I was a kid, I always seeked anything that had to do with art that that called me. Mm-hmm. So when I was younger, I took ballet, I took jazz, I took tap, I took modern and South African dance, as well as street dance, hip hop. So when Tasha told me, hey, you know, I need you to be soft, I need you to be sexy, um, immediately I went to modern dance and and, um, and ballet mm-hmm. for, you know, my technique and, and the way that my hands would fall mm-hmm. instead of, like, being really hard and, like, aggressive to soften it up. And then I had David Sincere, who's a choreographer I've been working with for the past, like, five years. He, um, he helped me with some of the choreography. And also um, Tasha was very protective of me as well with what I wore mm-hmm. and... Um, and, you know, keeping me off the pole as far as doing tricks and, and really going crazy um, and more so focusing on the story and focusing on the art. So I took a pole class before I went out there because I wanted to be as prepared as possible before I got to Atlanta. But I, I didn't have to use those tricks. So thank okay. God. Okay. Okay. And plus it was the 90s. You yeah. know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like point. you didn't do all that in the 90s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't have the Amber Rose booty in the 90s. Right. right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, women were thin in the 90s, yeah. you know, and 80s. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. When I was stripping, no, let me stop. Right. <laughs> when I was stripping, girl, let me tell you, they ain't stripping okay. like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have made it in the two thousands. Right. <laughs> girl, they would have threw my ass out of the strip club. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But um, oh, man. yeah. So she had that ninety stripper body. Yeah. You know. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think that my question is for you, Tasha. It is. It sounds like all of this is about choices. Mm. You know that people make, and as a director. You know, you had to make some choices. I I mean, obviously, you know, people know Tammy initially from doing reality TV. But then I remember seeing you, Tammy, right after that. You had a a part on um, whatever the Al Bundy show. Remember the sitcom? Married with Children. Children. Married with Children. That was the first time I was like, yo, Tammy's dope. She got something. It'll if it, it should go further. I remember seeing you saying, "I keep a monologue ready. I'm I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm taking these classes seriously." Then of course we was introduced to, to Little Mama as an artist. When you sit down and you get these scripts, and obviously we all fell in love with Lance as an actor because that's how we were introduced to him. When you get these scripts, how did you make these choices to say, you know what, this dude? A little shaky, I'm going to pick up the phone and call my brother. You know what? People may know Tammy from reality TV and different things. She would be perfect for this. Little Mama, wild card. I would have never thought, you know, to cast her for this. But you made such great choices. Well, let me just be honest okay. about something, okay? I inherited a script that another director was supposed to uh, direct. So I came on, like, I was like the third director that oh, wow. was supposed to do this oh, movie. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. So when I came on, Mama and Tammy me were already on it right they okay. were already attached to, to the project. it okay. and so now Tammy I knew because I worked with her as a coach and she had been my friend for many years mm-hmm. I mean she got jobs, jobs. like we would yeah. audition together and Tammy would get it like I know Tammy okay. as Absolutely. an actor like Absolutely. that's how I've always known her I know what her instrument is able to do as an actor and I knew that she would be able to kill this role yeah. mama I did not know or mm-hmm. once. No. <laughs> no. I mean, we're just having, no, no. Oh, right. We're just having a real conversation. Yeah. Like sure, when they sure. said yeah. that it was Lil Mama, oh. and I was like, Lil Mama. <laughs> I was like, do y'all see what this chick is doing in this movie? Are y'all mm-hmm. sure Lil Mama can do this? And I did question it. Uh-huh. I did not know whether Little Mama would be good, bad. I was like, oh God, you don't want to be a director and end up on the set with an actor that can't act. Got you know it. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I was like, oh damn, I gotta like <laughs> really work, right? <laughs> but let me tell you about this woman here. She is so 
full of like she's open she's so mm. open she's like a faucet right she processes and then she gives it she her instincts and her instrument is so beautiful when people see her in this movie yeah. i'm not yeah. just saying this but she really gave an award winning performance you, in this film Guilty. she is vulnerable Very. she is passionate she has so many layers she's broken she is a broken soul she what she did with Felicia Blakely, I feel like she really allowed us as the audience mm -hmm. to have empathy mm -hmm. towards this young girl because mm -hmm. we could be like, well, she killed people. She should be in jail. But then little mama takes us through this journey on how she got there. And a lot of times we don't see how people end up where they are. Yeah. And guess what? Seeing it now, we can help prevent it mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. happening to the young girls in our community. Absolutely. She's amazing. And that's what's most important about this movie. I'm I want to open up the phone line. We got time to do this? Okay. Uh, I want to open up the phone lines. It might be uh, a lot of folks, a lot of young women like Felicia Blakely, mm. who was manipulated at an early age by a predator man, ended up changing the destiny of her life, doing things she never thought she would do. And this woman now is spending the rest of her life in jail. Um, maybe you've experienced that. You want to talk about it? 888-742-3345. The movie is When Love Kills, premiering um, August 28th on TV One. It's Sway in the morning, only from Shade 45. <laughs> Kill